Hey, this is Jonathan. This is Diet Wise, page 13. A bizarre and protein symptom. It's P-R-O-T-E-A-N, symptoms. The sheer variety and vulnerability of symptoms caused by hidden food allergies and genetic food intolerance is the main reason that the problem was not recognized sooner. Doctors are convinced that all diseases should fit into a set describable patterns or syndromes. Any group or of symptoms that is not listed and named in their textbooks is therefore not considered a real affliction, but something from the patient's imagination. That is not true. The suspicion of hypochondria, hypochondria rises into the red zone when the patient's com complaints keep shifting headache one week, joint pain another week, then bowel trouble, then feeling depressed, doctors quickly dismiss the patient or send them to a psychiatrist with the clear inference, all it is is in your mind. Not true, that's a lie. The fact is, the condition is one and the same. And, and a food allergy, an allergy to food. It is merely the result of an allergy that shifts Symptoms can be bizarre, protein, and very subject. Protus was a, go a Greek sea god, a son of Poseidon, that's Neptune, who kept changing his form whenever he appeared. Symptoms can be very bizarre, such as a headache every Monday, but no other day. Onions with dinner, uh, with Sunday dinner. That's like in parentheses as the result. Epo epilepsy after eating carrots or drunk drunk after eating potatoes or oranges, and sexual arousal after eating chicken. All these things are true cases from my files. Subjective symptoms seem to create even more hostility with physicians, yet patients sometimes have difficulty describing what they feel. I have heard complaints such as hot water running down the inside of my skin and seeing myself down at the end of a long tunnel. or on some days I feel like there's a heavy stone inside my abdomen. To a regular doctor these are signs of delusion or psycho psychosomatic illness. To me they are clear, clear indications of brain allergy or an altered perception, a fascinating topic we should come to later. Any bodily system that can be upset by food allergies or genetic food intolerance in any one patient, one or more symptoms can be involved. We call this concept target organs or shock organs. Incidentally, the target system involved can change from one period of life to another. So with things shifting and changing, it's difficult to identify. A child with eczema moves in on to asthma. What? then grows out of asthma and develops stomach ulcers or ir irritable bowel syndrome. Stress helps to exhaust an adaptive process of the body and aggravate the symptoms. This often makes it appear as though the stress is the cause of the trouble. That ends page 13. Come back tomorrow for page 14. Thank you.